Hello all. In this session, I will be discussing about full wave bridge rectifier. This is one type of full wave diode rectifier. In the last session, I have discussed about full wave rectifier by using the center taper transformer. Now it is a modified form. In the sense, we can in this session in this configuration we can avoid usage of center taper transformer so that size of the system can be reduced. Okay. Now. Let us discuss how does it operate. Before that, I would like to introduce the components which are used in uh, full wave bridge rectifier by using power diode. We have one each to one transformer or you can call isolation transformer. Isolation transformer. It provides isolation between input and output and we are going to provide the input supply over here. And here we are going to use four power diodes D1, D2, D3, D4 and we are using one resistive load like a lamp load or right, lighting load you can write and we are having the supply okay sinusoidal supply and this will be the peak value of input voltage Vm okay we can write V is equal to Vs Vs or Vin that is equal to Vm sin omega t that we can write uh, Vs is equal to uh, Vm uh, sin omega t where omega is known as angular frequency you can write angular frequency in terms of supply frequency by using the formula omega is equal to 2 pi f omega is equal to 2 pi f okay now let us explain how does it work it works based on positive and negative half cycle first and foremost thing i will be checking during positive half cycle during positive half cycle what is going to happen positive half cycle means you have to mark like this positive and negative okay you know current will always move from positive to negative higher potential to lower potential so it starts from this point we can mark the current path definitely diode d1 will operate because it becomes forward biased and check whether diode d3 operates no diode d3 will not operate why because it becomes reverse biased because here anode is negative cathode is positive definitely it will not operate it will become as an open switch now then it will directly move to load okay later it will be coming back to diode d2 then it will be directly coming back to supply end. so that the path will be like this only. so during positive half cycle positive half cycle we can say that diode D1 and D2 will be conductive, will be operated. At the same time, the reverse voltage that will come across D3 and D4. Okay. So during this case, let us say, we will be getting the, what, the input voltage that will be coming across the load. Okay. Whatever the input voltage you are going to apply, that will come across the load. So for this condition, we can say that D1 and D2 will be operated. At the same time, there is a reverse voltage that will come across D3 and D4. So let me mark the reverse voltage that will be coming across D3 and D4. Okay. So this is the scenario which is happening during positive half cycle. Similarly, during negative half cycle, let us see what is going to happen. So the negative half cycle means negative will come, come over here. Then positive will come over here. Positive. Okay, so this is actually happening during uh, negative half cycle. Now let us mark the direction of current. So as you know that current will always uh, travel from positive to negative. Let's mark the direction of current. As you know that current will always move from positive to negative. So it will be starting from here. Okay. Then it directly flows through the load. Okay. Then it is directly coming back over the. Then moving towards negatives. Okay. So D3 and D4 will be conductive. So during negative half cycle, D3 and D4 will be operated. See, D3 and D4 will be operated. 
that is exactly happening uh, during negative half cycle so we can write d3 and d4 will be operated see during negative half cycle this is your negative half cycle at, at that time d3 and d uh, similarly you can see d3 and d4 that is getting operated we will be getting the dc output voltage so output output voltage will be pulsating continuous okay to one change with respect to time we will be getting the dc output at the same time the reverse voltage that come across d1 and d2 so d1 and d2 across d1 and d2 there is a reverse voltage that is coming across so that that is called a peak inverse voltage i have represented peak inverse voltage like this okay this is the way how single phase full wave con uncontrolled rectifier will operate or you can call this is the operation of full wave bridge rectifier here peak inverse voltage is equal to vm you will be getting peak inverse voltage of vm so this is the way how uh, full wave bridge rectifier operates now i have to calculate what is the average output voltage of full wave diode rectifier especially full wave bridge rectifier i would like to calculate the average output voltage so we can use the formula you can use the integration so vdc or you can call v average vdc or v not vdc is given by 2 by total time period integral 0 to t by 2 what is the input the input will be sinusoidal function that means vm sin omega t d omega t so do the integration 2 by t means 0 to 2 pi full cycle you have to take 0 to pi 2 pi okay into 0 to what is t t means 2 pi 2 pi by 2 vm sin omega t d omega t here 2 and 2 get cancelled so let me write pi here 2 and 2 also will be getting cancelled clear so i'll be writing 0 to pi sin omega t d omega t so let us elaborate i'll be elaborating so that is equal to 1 by pi into what is the integration of sin omega t that is equal to minus cos omega t minus cos omega t lower limit is 0 upper limit is pi so i would like to expand 1 by pi into minus cos put the upper limit first minus cos pi then minus of minus it become plus then cos 0 ok so what is minus cos pi minus cos pi is nothing but remaining part I will be writing over this minus cos pi that is nothing that is nothing but minus 1 1 by pi into minus is available here so minus of then cos pi that is equal to minus 1 plus cos 0 is nothing but 1 that is equal to here vm you have to put to vm vm is missing here vm ok here vm is missing that you will write vm by pi into minus of minus 1 plus 1 that is equal to vm by pi into 2 that is nothing but 2 vm by pi so let us conclude the average output voltage for full bridge rectifier that is given by V0 for VDC that is equal to 2 Vm by pi. Okay, so this is the final expression for average output voltage of full wave diode rectifier. Okay, so we have derived the formula. In this session, we have discussed about how does full bridge rectifier operate uh, during positive and negative half cycle, what is going to happen, what about the peak inverse voltage, and uh, finally, we have computed the average output voltage. Finally, thank you very much for watching this video. If you are having any queries, you can put up in the comment box.